my most humble obeisances to the assembled devotees, Radhe Radhe. We are reading from Radharasa Sudhanili, verse 18, which shows Kauravani last week. And we continue. We were reading until the uh, ocean number four, but of course I will start with the text again. Um, Gopanath are all the translations set? All set. Thank you. Try a lot, try a lot. Si, ti sentiamo. So verse 18, then will Sri Radha, who is an ocean of cleverness, an ocean of anagrasa, an ocean of motherly affection, an ocean of very deep compassion, an ocean of elegance, a nectar ocean of glistening transcendental forms, and an ocean of play be manifest in my heart. So maybe I come, I repeat, when will Sri Radha, who is an ocean of cleverness, an ocean of anurag rasa, an ocean of motherly affection, an ocean of very deep compassion, an ocean of elegance, a nectar ocean of glistening transcendental forms, and an ocean of play be manifest in my heart. So now, now we continue with the ocean of Lavanya. So the oceans are compared to the seven oceans in the material world. So I read these seven oceans. There are seven oceans in the material world, one of salt, one of sugarcane, one of wine, one of clarified butter, one of yogurt, one of milk, and one of sweet water. And Sri Radha's cleverness, anurag, affection, compassion, elegance, form, They start with sweet water and then one of milk and yogurt. And in the end, the pastimes are compared to salt. <clears throat> so we 
continue now with the fifth ocean of Lavanya. Srimati is the ocean of Lavanya. Srila Rupa Goswami defines Lavanya as follows in his Uchwala Nilamani. The luster that gushes out of each bodily limb, like the luster shining out from inside pearls, is called Lavanya. So I repeat this sentence. The luster that gushes out of each bodily limb, like the luster shining out from inside pearls, is called Lavanya. Srimati is the ocean of Lavanya, or elegance. The fish-like eyes of Sri Krishna, who is called Lavanya Sara, the essence of Lavanya, or elegance, in Srimad Bhagavatam, in 1044-14, never get tired of swimming in the ocean of Sri Radha's Lavanya. Indeed, his desire to swim in that ocean simply increases. Sripad Pilva Mangala Thakur said in Krishna Kanamritam, Lavanyam Rita Vichi Lolita Drisham, Krishna's eyes billow on the waves of nectarian Lavanya. Krishna's eyes billow on the waves of nectarian lavanya. Sri Krishna Das Kaviraj writes in his Sharanga Rangada commentary on this verse. Sri Krishna's eyes have become very thirsty after the nectar waves of Sri Radha's lavanya. There is uh, a nice example we read last time for this, when he gets thirsty. Don't do this. Heard mm -hmm. Momish? Mm -hmm. When they are playing in the water games, we discuss that Swamini don't put water in the eyes of Krishna because she knows that he is very thirsty to get this lavanya. <laughs> and so when she get wet with the thin clothes, there is a beautiful example for this lavanya we read last time. No, Chakshu, you remember this? It was very beautiful. And that uh, Krishna, Krishna can, can enjoy, enjoy this, this fully. fully. She never put water in her, in his eyes, so she can, uh, he can uh, get this beauty. Thank you. Rade, Rade, I think uh, Gurudev uh, fell out of the room. And also I no, fell no. out. Oh, we are here, Kanaya. Are you here? I fell out of the translation room. Why can we not sit? I'll set you back, huh? One minute. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Krishna's eyes have become very thirsty after the nectar waves of Sri Radha's Lavanya. Because Krishna is intoxicated by seeing Radha's Lavanya and her maidservants and girlfriends are intoxicated by seeing Krishna looking at Radhika like this. The ocean of Lavanya. No, me to you, you, 
この3回の宇宙では例えられている。The ocean of Lavanya is compared to the third cosmic ocean, the ocean of wine. The practicing devotees should also forget everything related to this world or the next world and become intoxicated by worshipping the lotus feet of that Sri Radha. So this was the fifth ocean of Lavanya. The ocean of elegance. So the sixth ocean is Amrita Chapi Rupa. Shirada is the ocean of Amrita Chapi Rupa. She is the very form of glowing nectar, and her form is like a vast ocean. She is Mahabhav personified, and Mahabhav is compared to nectar. It is the deepest possible love for Krishna, and Radha's form reveals this beauty and tastefulness to the utmost. Therefore, she is the Amrita Chabirupa Sindhu. Although Sri Krishna inundates the world with a mere drop of his beauty, even he drowns in the nectar ocean of Radha's form. Krishna says in Chaitanya Chaitamrita Adi Lila 4. Although my form defeats millions of cupids, is unrivaled in its sweetness and pleases all the three worlds, my eyes are still pleased by seeing Radha. In this way, I am the cause of joy to the world. But Radhika's form and attributes are my very life. So, although my form defeats millions of cubits, is unrivaled in its sweetness, and pleases all the three worlds, my eyes are still pleased by seeing Radha. In this way, I am the cause of joy to the world. But Radhika's form and attributes are my very life. Because the ocean of Radha's form is so sweet, it is compared to the second cosmic ocean, the ocean of sugarcane juice. So there is a point. And it is said, I'm the cause of joy the world because I'm drowning in the nectar ocean of radicals qualities. This is the reason why I give the pleasure to all world. This is the reason why I'm called by learns by devotees who knows the truth, Lavanya Sara also, because I am receiving the Sara, the essence of love, 
essence of Mahabhava. And I'm drawing in her Lavanya. That's the reason why others called me Lavanya Sara. But the real truth behind is that I am drowning in Radhika's qualities, Radhika's emotions, Radhika's ocean of different sweetness and beauty. And because of that, and because of her lavanya, which is so attractive to me, I became a lavanya. Whatever comes into contact with Mahabhava becomes Mahabhava. So we can see here Krishna he was, be, becomes Lavanya Sara because he came into contact and he's always hankering, he's very thirsty to come into contact, at least with the eyes, at least with the ears. He wants to hear jingling of her neck. Uh, bracelets and this jingling is actually expression of waves of Radhika's Mahabhava deep emotions and when Krishna hears this immediately he is drowning in these waves so he is bathing in so many oceans of Radhika's qualities. We are mentioning here just seven, but actually it's unlimited oceans, and each ocean is unlimited. <laughs> and because of that, Krishna becomes completely intoxicated. Otherwise, who will intoxicate him? <laughs> no one. And not even that. Manjaris are also intoxicated when they see intoxicated Yuga Lakishore. But the difference is that Manjaris are always aware of their position. Although they are intoxicated, they are always ready to serve, mm. not to be the victim like two lovers of intoxication. <laughs> So this is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to drown in this ocean of unlimited radicals qualities like Krishna, and Krishna is also teaching us how to do this. But in the same time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave us this beautiful opportunity to become dasi of this Mahabhava ocean, full of qualities. So that came to my mind. Radhe, Tarun Baba, save me. <laughs> Especially in Radha Kund, there is unlimited when they bathing and playing their pastimes with the water. You like to share something, Tarun Baba? Jai Ho, Tandavad Pranam. I'm very happy to be here in this wonderful assembly of devotees and very special kind of devotees. <laughs> you have to go through the whole world you will not find this essence of Sangha. Like my, not, we have never met, but we are brothers. <laughs> so, like he said, this beautiful gift of Mahaprabhu, you can travel through the whole world. I'm just coming back from travel. And you will never find this most wonderful gift of Mahaprabhu, this really, really nectarian gift. And he said that actually, uh, Gorasundara, right? Gora, Goranga, 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 Goranga. He said that even Krishna tried.
in the nectar coming from the lavanya of Radhika. So I'm always thinking when I hear this, how can we, how can we receive this beautiful lavanya as manjaris? We can all talk about it. That's nice and beautiful. But how can we receive this? How can we manifest this beautiful? We can feel in this room when you come. We just drove through my birth area. When you come here, it's just a restaurant. But when you sit here, it's the spiritual world. So how can we manifest this wonderful Lavanya Sara, this essence in our hearts? So it is very easy. Shri Guru Jarana Padma. Just my Gurudev's appearance day was on Friday. So, and Param Gurudev's appearance day, both on the same day. So I was meditating on our fly home, enough time to dive into the holy name. So what is this? What is this gift we had? And no matter where we are on this planet, Baba once was asked, Baba, can we attain perfection in the West? Baba said, what are you asking? Radhika's kingdom is everywhere. Radhika means love. Love is everywhere. Gurudev always says that love is everywhere. So we can catch this essence, this beautiful essence, through the lotus feet of Gurudev. Just close your eyes and meditate on the beautiful form of your Gurudev lotus feet and imagine it flows into your heart. That's what I do when I, I am in the right mind. <laughs> uh, so then this pipeline, this pipeline is so strong that we can feel glimpses of this nectar coming near our heart. And the more we try to receive it, the more it can come. So only by the grace of the lotus feet of Gurudev and Gurudev's mercy, can we actually get a glimpse of this wonderful, wonderful Lavanya Sara coming down from Mahabhav, Madanakya Mahabhav, Swamini Radhika, through the lotus feet of Parampara, and finally through the lotus feet of Gurudev, it can manifest in our heart. Otherwise, not possible. Yasya Prasado, Bhagavad Prasado, Yasya Prasado, there is no other way. So whenever we are, wherever we are, and whenever we have the time, we can meditate about this, that this lavanya, this beautiful nectar, amrita, cha, something, I'm not good in this, amrita, this beautiful nectar can only reach our heart through the pipeline of mercy of Gurudev's lotus feet. So this is always what I, when I hear these high topics, I always try to Meditate on the lotus feet of Gurudev so that it can reach my heart. So Guru Tattva for me is always the most important thing. And then when we are open for this, the nectar can flow. So now we are coming to the seventh ocean, the ocean of playfulness, uh, which is compared to the salt ocean. Which is compared to the salt ocean. So Shimati is the ocean of playfulness, which means her frolics with her beloved Shyamasundara. She keeps Shyamasunda immersed in the waves of the ocean of her pastimes. So, when she meets him. He meets me. She keeps Yamasunda immersed in the waves of the ocean of her pastimes when she meets him.
when the waves of Madanaras swell in the ocean of Shirada's pastimes, even Shri Krishna, the transcendently useful Cupid of Vrindavan, does not dare to place his boat-like heart on its surface. Just as a boatman fearfully keeps his boat on the bank of the Gang Ganga when her huge waves meet the ocean. <clears throat> This ocean of play is compared to the first cosmic ocean, the ocean of salt water. Because although the very sight of this ocean destroys all sins, a person who drinks its water will die. Similarly, when one faithfully chants and hears about the pastimes of Radha and Mohan, one will become free from all sins and from the heart's disease of lust. But when one tries to imitate these pastimes, one will perish. This is confirmed in the last verses of the Rasa Lila narration in Srimad Bhagavatam. Even in one's mind, a non-god should not imitate these pastimes of Sri Krishna. A fool who does so will destroy himself. He can, after all, also not drink poison from the ocean of milk, as Lord Shiva did. Srila Sripadrupa Goswami wrote in his Ujwala Nilamani, a person who desires auspiciousness should act like a devotee. He should never imitate Krishna in his erotic dalliances. This is the purport of all the scriptures. There was... <clears throat> that is real to understand this point that the imitation will be always on a material uh, level and not on a spiritual level and this is the poison as long as we are in the false ego we cannot act like this even on this level it's better to make noise not pictures, images, nothing. To go in this subject, first we have to fix our Ishtadev, this is what Gurudev always teaching. And then we have to fix ourselves 
first as a soul and then in that what is Gurudev giving as a manjari. And then we can start to think about these topics without attachment on the material body and senses. Otherwise, everything will be not only disturbed, but uh, fully break down. And we make for others also an example of a very bad thing. And for this is so important to follow the navigator in these main steps. As long we don't do this, better don't listen this class. Date, date. <laughs> So sorry to interrupt again, but I was just <clears throat> thinking when I heard this beautiful uh, verse from the final of Rasalila. Can you can you read it again? This uh, when you hear about the pastimes, it, the sins will be forgiven. Can you read this again, please? Similarly, remember face. Similarly, when one faithfully chants and hears about the pastimes of Radha and Mohan, one will become free from all sins and from the heart's disease of lust. Yes. yes. But when one tries to imitate these pastimes, one will perish. Yes, 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 yes. So, this is such a beautiful <clears throat> and very enlightening and also very inspiring verse. And there is one which, therefore, I took now the microphone to share. There is this beautiful Srimad Bhagatam verse, Vikriditam. It starts. Shuniti knows it also, this verse when you hear, I don't know the Sanskrit, but I know the translation. So it is said, many times quoted by Baba, when you hear the pastimes of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna, especially, especially the Rasa Lila, Madhurya Rasa, all unwanted things will go out of the heart. So this, whenever I hear such a line, my antennas go up and always bring this Vikiri Dham verse. This is such a beautiful and very inspiring verse, because otherwise we could not even listen to Radha Radha, Radha Rasa Sudaniti or Vilapa Kusumanjali, because there are, one word is in this verse, faithfully, we have to have Shraddha. And then what I always find magic, magical is, that it is not that we have to become pure as a, lay, a ray of the sun. No, it is said that when we hear from the mouth of a self-realized soul, of a Mahatma, of a Sadhu, all anartas will go out of the heart by listening to this high level of kata. So I, I always, they ask me, I always, they challenge me, so therefore I left Facebook and all these things. They, oh, why are you talking about these things? Very easy. Because Rupa Goswami is saying it. We should do this with faith. So this is actually a very interesting point. When we hear about this Rasa Lila and the high level of Kata, of the intimate pastimes of Radha and Krishna, we should not not do it. We should do it. And then this is a, a process. All the unwanted things in the heart will be uprooted. Not first, how will you, then always is my question. How will you uproot all your unwanted things in your heart? And then the answer comes by chanting the holy name. Correct. Let's see how long it takes. But by listening from the mouth of a, Sita, you will immediately feel 
upliftment and realizations. So this is a very, for me, a very important point. It is actually a process to hear these things with faith in the Lotus Feet of Gurudev. So then the other point I would like to make is, in I think in Radha Rasa Sutta, no, in Vilapakusa Manjali, Baba is clearly saying in the beginning of the Tikas that we should never read these books without Swarupa Avesha. So then again, I was in last 10, 15 years so many times challenged. So what is this? How can you read these books? You are with, and then I say, listen, Swarupa, Avesha does not mean Swarup city. So it doesn't mean you can hold, what is the use of reading the Tika of my Gurudev? I mean, of course, there is a use, but first of all, I read the explanations of Baba and Narayan Maharaj and Prabhupada to become self-realized. When, when I am self-realized, I can also read these tikas, but first of all, it is the most and the best means to get self-realized to hear about these things. So this is a, a very important point. Varupa Avesh does not mean we have to be fully realized. Avesha means awareness. So I was then immediately writing to Advaita Das, who translated the Langsam. Yes. Slowly, slowly, slowly sorry. Yes. Mode of passion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what can I do? This is, I will try to slow. So inspiring this association here. So uh, now I lost it. So Avesha means to be aware. So how can we become aware? Like my brother Gorasundara said, only by the mercy of Gurudev. He reveals to us our eternal form, whatever that may be, in our case, Manjari. So when you get this Siddha Pranali, you are aware of the 11 paths you receive. So that alone qualifies you to study the Tikas. We don't study Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. We, st we study it under the tutelage and the guidance of a realized saint, actually two. Now Sadhu Maharaj is there and Baba is there and Narayan, many saints. We don't go there. We don't sit here and we speculate together on the verses. So we always have commentaries, Tikas in Sanskrit. Tikas means elaborations. So Swarupa Avesh means what my brother said, Gura Sundara, we have to be aware of our stai bhav, of our ishtadev, guru nishta, ishta nishta. So this alone qualifies us to listen to these books and to the explanations. So therefore, I find it this very interesting. Even the Srimad Bhagavatam, Mahaprabhu said, what is the most authoritative scripture. It is the Srimad Bhagavatam. And Srimad Bhagavatam clearly says, you have to talk about these topics humble and with faith and in Swarupa Avesh. Always be aware that Gurudev gave you something very special. Not that we are all... I cannot speak for everyone, but I am have not realized in total and fully my form. So now I am swimming in this nectar, but I am aware I got the form. The treasure is there. I just have to realize it. And this is the very best means in the association of all devotees to hear from bona fide and really sit up Mahatmas. This is for me very inspiring. Every time I hear this, it inspires me again that actually we are doing the right thing. Uh, Mike is in front of me. <laughs> so I just want to say that actually this ocean is compared with the salt and any dishes can be very sweet, very tasteful. When we put the salt in the proper way, in proper measurements, then it is well, very relishable. But Radhika is very playful. 
here. And Krishna sometimes is not even able to tolerate her playfulness. He cannot tolerate that playfulness. So he is drowning in that ocean of playfulness of her beloved. And like my brothers are saying, those who are listening, they playful lilas, very intensely, emotionally intense lilas, has to be situated at least in their spiritual existence, not to listen from the bodily consciousness of life. Because this ocean, salty ocean, can destroy the beginning stages of Sadaka's life. And it's very, maybe you overcome somehow, I'm living by the ocean, and it's said that just by looking on the salty ocean, all sins are going on, just by looking. And it's confirmed here that by listening with faithful heart, this playful, beautiful lilas between Radha and Krishna are compared like oceans. And they, these playful lilas can purify the heart of Sadaka. And there is no other way how this heart can be purified, but listening to the mouths of sadhus like Tarun Baba said. And I, I just remember when he was speaking, Vishwana Chakra Thakur in is giving the commentary actually, someone who doesn't have a faith that through the chanting and listening of these beautiful pastimes through the mouth of Rasik devotees, actually he doesn't faith at all in holy name. Mm. Because the holy name, there is no difference between holy name and lilas. And when we really chant holy name, or other mantras we can say, but holy name is everywhere pr present, then the lilas automatically has to appear in the heart and in the mind of the sadaka. Then the process of purification of this kama, which is such a big obstacle in the heart of each of sadaka, at least in mine, can be slowly but surely purified. And I'm very grateful to Baba that he put this commentary in a such a way to warn us. Because if we talk about intimate pastimes, we should know that they are really intimate. It's not something for broadcasting on the Facebook or, I don't know, all these social medias, especially in association which is not adequate. So Baba is warning us here with, that we have to have proper consciousness when we are reading, when we are talking, <laughs> when we are chanting, then the process will, then automatically will go, otherwise not. It will be salty, untasty, killing water. <laughs> So, so beautiful to speak about these topics in this beautiful association. Really, it's, uh, it's so inspiring. And uh, to add something on this point, I will make an example for from what we read the last days from the water games of uh, Rata and Krishna, where the Manjaris are watching. 
So if we are watching this in the wrong consciousness, how Krishna is putting water on the beautiful body of Shirate, and we are on the bodily consciousness, we become like Krishna. We become mad when we see her beautiful form and we lose all our spiritual fix point. So we become again Krishna, the enjoyer. We come in this material mood. But when we are fixed on our Swarup, as a Manjari, we see our Radhika with different eyes. How beautiful she is to Krishna. And we think about what we can do to uh, organize the meeting then after. And we are fully in the meditation of the service and not of the enjoyer. So we see in a, a simple example how, how big this uh, two uh, sides are. One is the enjoyer mood in a material way, and one is the service mood as a manjari. This is a simple example, but it's, I think in, on our point, it's, it's, it's just that what we get. Rade, rade. Where is Guru? Where is our Guru Dev? Stop the way. Rade. <laughs> Radhe 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 Guru Dev. Where are you? Radhe Radhe. You cannot die, Guru Dev. Radhe Radhe Guru Dev. Radhe Radhe. They are done. Radhe Guru Dev. They are done. Radhe Radhe. Beautiful, very nice, very nice. I'm so happy to listen your sharing. This is the Baba Kripa that he makes so poetic, lovingly easy. Only you remember the words what he writes and life can slowly start changing. The and share something over there, please. Yeah. Now something will come, I will share it. Yes. Yeah. Maybe Chayananda wants to add something? Jananda is always ready. You don't ask to him. <laughs> <coughs> yes, say. So, so, very beautiful, Tarun Baba. Gives very nice explanation. Our Gorasundar also very nice explanation. I also same like Gorasundara Babu. Because in Chaitanya Charitamrita, eh, Ramanandaya and Mahaprabhu conversation. At first, eh, Sri Matiradarani takes her first bus in the shower of nectar of compassion and takes her second bus the nectar of youth. Then after her midi bus, Radharani takes another bus in the nectar of Lavanya Amrita, bodily luster. And she puts 
on the garment of shyness, which her black silk sari. So I also just remember um, mid past time. Just uh, yesterday, our Guru Dev is sharing unto us. So mid past time, Manjari arranged. Uh, so after I think, uh, uh, Madhvika, honey wine past time. So Radha and Mohan want to enjoy a bus and Radha Kund, especially uh, water sports and Manjari arranging very uh, white, very, I say, very uh, silk clothes, very thin, thin. very thin clothes for Radha and Mohan and the gopis. And then at that time, Radha Rani uh, automatically took bus in the next of Radha Kunda with Mohan. So at that time, Radha Rani like splash on the Mohan and also Mohan e so much eager to splash on the Shurimati Radha Rani. At that time, very thin white clothes become wet. Then her elegant bodily, uh, bodily limbs and luster manifest. And then Moha is so much, uh, how do you say, feel ecstasy, like mud. And uh, Manjari was, is watching this pastime. And uh, it seems Mohan win. But actually, Radha is win. Because of, if Radha wins, Many Saki is there. So Saki may kind of, you know, say anything <laughs> with Radharani. But uh, here say, Radharani is very shy. And uh, she put uh, like a bluish, blackish silk sari outside, but inside Radha Rani wear like a pinkish, like a reddish, uh, like a chori. So <laughs> I just remember this past time, or oh, actually this midi bus, the third bus actually. So it's Radha Rani, uh, exhibit her elegant lavanya lasta in front of Mohan and also in front of all uh, Saki and Manjaris. This Manjari is so much tasting and, uh, and feeling her elegance, her lavanya as she, she behaves. She, she, she lose, but actually, finally, she win in front of, uh, Mohan. This is, uh, Guru Dev yesterday told us that's, I remember this is, this is like Ravanya, <laughs> Ravanya Murita. Rade, rade. <laughs>
In the darkness of despair, in Sripat's heart, over his own unworthiness, is destroyed by the light of Srimati's sweet attributes. Sripat sings, Ha Swamini, I'm completely unable to serve you with expertise. How can I become qualified to join your expert maidservants? You are the ocean of cleverness. Please make me a qualified maidservant by teaching me this expertise in service. Anurag is also required with that expert service. Otherwise, that service cannot make you happy. You are the ocean of Anurag. So please make me qualified by giving me one drop of this Anurag. You know, I said one thing. There is a raga, means I love you. And anurag means you, I love, you love more than me. My Swami, what I do for you, you do more, 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 more love to you, care to me and love to me because you love like a mother. It's more small to say that you love like a mother. You love with all your mercy. All what the qualities they say about you, everything is there. And that is your unlock. I am no qualified. I don't do anything for you. But you, you care so much. You fulfill all my wishes and desires. <laughs> Although I am so un unqualified. That is the mercy. And the mercy you give. So make me your dasi. Try, accept, mark me. I think to be a dasi and never honest with Dasi Bhav. But you mark me that I want to run away from you. I cannot mark. mark. This is Dasi Without your marking, my mind is not to stopping or jumping from it in here. My mind is always ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. <laughs> uh, 
yes, you you love me so much, Swamini, even though I am not I cannot even try enough to to feel you, but you feel me and what I need, and that is your anurag. You, you give me this hope through Guru Manjari and this relation has started and I cannot even I cannot even dream what it means. But you love me so much that I can trust that you will guide me and you will uh, carry me with the help of all my other friends and my Guru Manjari of my other Dasi friends. You will guide me because you are the, ma the mistress of relations. You are the most uh, expert in all relationships <laughs> and all love. Yeah. So that is what you always stress, Gurudev, that we have this trust that we not only try to do the rug, uh, become attached, but what is the meaning of attachment when there is no reciprocation? And Krishna I'm, says, yes? That is not a rock. Mm -hmm. But I do, you do more. That is not a rock. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Krishna says, I take, you take one step, I give eight. But Swamini is not in such calculation. She will. She's an ocean of emotion. Yeah. <laughs> she will drown us sooner or later. She will drown us with all her love. And I can also learn how to accept that she is drowning me. And I just um, do my little steps, but the drowning will happen if I can give up my fear, and my all blockages of this uh, sadaka identification in the good yeah. association, then anura can come completely flow, and there will be miracles in the feelings. Anurag is also required with that expert service. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, that service cannot make you happy. Yeah. You are the ocean of Anurag. So please make me qualified by giving me one drop of this Anurag. Although I am the most wretched of the wretched, you are the shoreless ocean of motherly affection. Yes. Please sprinkle me with just one drop of that Vatsalya affection. You know, Baba, why write motherly affection? Why? Motherly affection means baby can see the breast. If the mother not show his breast, then he is not mother. And if baby not see the breast, she is not a baby. <laughs> This is mother. So she is always open 
You cannot talk in the gentleman society about the breath. Right? No, you cannot talk. You are a very crazy man if you talk about breath. But now I talk about breath. Listen. <laughs> The lover has to open the breast, but baby become hungry and hundred people are sitting, mother open herself in her breast, come and feed it. She never bothered to open the breast in the front of person also. Little covering is okay. She think all is covered. My baby is the feeling. That's right, or no, not? This is the Basali Rasa. This is the motherly love. Mother gives to the baby. And the lover takes from the beloved. This is the difference. She and she is ready to give to the lover also and to the baby also. The highest for the child is the motherly love. Um, for mother is the highest love is the baby love. More I say about the breast. When the child born, he don't know his food, where is that? Huh? But mother would bring her breast near her mouth and putting like this and press the breast. And the drop of milk goes in the mouth. <coughs> the baby not understand. She try again and again, bringing near the mouth and pressing the breast. And after some time, her Baby's trust goes and he feels satisfaction. <laughs> then he starts shucking the breast of mother. So, why the motherly love? We are all uneducated and like a child to develop our spiritual consciousness. We are so lost in material things that we don't see anything. That soul is also existing inside me. That anything is spiritual, we don't want to know. We are very happy with the material thing. We have this, we have that, he has all comforts. But they say, when we leave everything, there is no pocket in coffin. When the clothes, the last clothes what we wear, there is no any pocket that I can bring anything with me. Right? Why? It's impossible. So, what to learn? What to learn? The love is the only thing it is spiritual. Divine and pure. And this, she is feeding us she is the mother of giving love and divineness to see the spirit. 
So this is Bhatsalya of our. We start growing in a spiritual life. They say you have a siddha there. You have a constitutional position. You know about constitutional position. When we are breastfeeding of our, we know that we are going on the way of condensed milk. When we meditate in our sarup and samani, that's a condensed. Condensed is when the feeling becomes condensed. That is our sarup. There's nothing out that we will take human form or something. Our feeling becomes condensed. This feeling is my form. It's formed like a shadow of original. The moment I forget my original, my mama, my swami, my shadow is not there. I'm out of my relation with you, Mama. That the beauty. She give all rasa, motherly love, friendly love, passive, active, and. She is so much believed that she bring to the the bedroom also when he meets with his lover, and he says, "Stay back on, under the bed. When I need help, you come out. <laughs> you see, <laughs> you this is the thing. You will bring to the baby for the your bedroom." When you meet with your lover, show me any mother do this. This Radha, whose flow is the only one pointed to his lover, you can get only from her. We don't need to know any more thing. We have to know that I am the Dasi of Radha 24 7. 24 7. The moment I will forget, I am gone. Yes. I was one Anandas Babaji. This upper, what is the name? Jugal Kishore. Mm -hmm. He, when he came, he said, 24 7. 24 7. And said, How for anyone can do 24 7? <laughs> Impossible. He said, Yes. Baba said, 24 7. Baba said, 24 7. One day, I realize, yes, yes, this has to be 24 7. If you are not ready for 24 7, go to the toilet. Think that. Go to PP, think that. Do taking bath, think that. Meet with your wife, me, think of that. 24 7. Then what will happen? Seva, sadha. Seva, sadha, rupena. Siddha, rupena, chatri. Every 24 7, your protection is there. Atma Sukh 
प्रीतिवांचा धरे काम नाम कृष्ण सुख प्रीतिवांचा धरे प्रेम दैट इज बिकम बिकॉज यू आर डूइंग सेवा You never forget twenty four seven. Your mind, your feeling, and understanding is on twenty four seven. Your eating, sleeping, your dreaming is twenty four seven. How you will go out from twenty four seven? When you are sleeping, you are thinking for her. You are eating, thinking for her. You are going to the any place. You are thinking, good or bad, and nothing is bad. No place is bad. Twenty four seven. What is bad? and what is not good? All is good. And nothing will disturb us. But Swami is there, Mama is there. I am in the lap of Mama. What will disturb me? That is Raghavan. My mind has to keep twenty four seven. I am very thankful to this devotee of Baba, who inspired me for twenty four seven. Rather, you know, give chance for other thing, yeah. Twenty four seven. You, I see one small baby. I was in Italy, and a baby, Gopika is carrying the baby. This she was Radhika, and she she is uh, become tired all time. So Gopinath feel to take it. Because this Radhika, Gopika is tired because of weight of the Radhika. Six, seven months, eight months, and she is not crying. This is twenty-four seven. Means he is not ready to recognize his father. It's so much in twenty-four-seven with the mama. Even not want to leave for moment, and no recognition of father in his eyes. I never forget that past time of the Radhika, and she start crying. So what? Why crying? Is the mother? Father too. This is one pointedness. No diversion was in love. That time, the breastfeeding was there. So I want to keep my breastfeeding whole of my life. What is the use to be not become grown up? We have to become Radhika, like a baby, the child that we can be always with my mama, twenty-four seven. Right or not? This is Radha Bhakti, my dear. Radha, twenty-four seven. This is Anurag. That is Anurag. <laughs> that is Anurag. There is no diversion. Even the father is not diversion in my love with my mama. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
So mother is a breast feeding is what meaning? Love feeling. Heart feeling. Softness giving. She want to give her heart. She want to give everything to the baby what she has through the milk of her mother Leela. Gurudev, you, you said one very, very wonderful thing which stuck in my hollow head. It was, you said, actually, this feeling is your body. I like this very much because actually the sitter there is just, it's made of half. So these emotions, this sentence, you just said one sentence, the feeling that is your body. I like this very much. It's very inspiring that everything is about emotion. And finally, the body is your emotion. I like this very much. Thank you. The thickness condensed only come when it goes down. Honestly, the meditation it should be natural because of love. Pressure means by the work. Rag Bhakti means without pressure. Mm. Baba say, even the Ashtiyam Leela by pressure is also by the work. Rag means natural, not unnatural. Wow. I see many Babas in Radha and other place teaching pressure bhakti by hook and crook. I have to get it. I have to do it. Baba say, you know, recommend it. Say, so it will be natural. Blaga. And I have really, I feel this is the real beauty of Baba teaching. It should, it should be natural. Why to breast? Who is pressing to Radhika? Not leave the Gopika, not go to Father. Is a nice one. Is a nice one. Sorry. Close me, close me. I'm a mad man already. Perfect yeah. example, mother and child. And even to us, we can learn so much about this spontaneous natural love. And it, it starts when there is only one body and at the beginning. There is only mother body. So mother is only meditating on the baby, but there is no baby body. Same situation is with us. There is no spiritual body in the beginning, but by meditation and love exchanging, body will come. And when you ever watch when baby is there, how much love is in the first second when they meet each other, when baby is 
laying on the body of mother. No need for some pressure. No, no need anything. It is there. And milk is coming automatically. So same situation with us. If we create our spiritual body, mother is waiting for us. And we can start with loving exchange at the same moment. But in the beginning, we are not maybe perfect. The body is very small. <laughs> and but by the milk of Swamini, it will grow. Yeah. Are you say one thing beautiful? Motherly milk automatic come. No pressure. I am the example to feel this that if she not feed to the baby, her all the clothes will become milky. <laughs> so she has to give her breast to my baby mouth. Barsalia. She has also Barsalia. He sees searching baby. And baby such mother is a natural. natural. Because there is full of feelings. That's where yeah. automatically the milk comes. That is the baby. And father is not feeling. He only wants to show with his car <laughs> outside of his creation. Lollipop. Lollipop. We can bring you to lollipop and night for that. <laughs> but basically, he has no breast and no feeding to give you. <laughs> right? She, she can give you. <laughs> and she can give you. At the same time, we are. She gave the baby feeding also, and he take care of his lover also. She is so manageable. She has so much quality. She managed at one moment, time, lover and baby also. How beautiful she has the quality. How beautiful nature she has gifted to the Swami, where you will get it here. And in the eyes of mother, child grown up, but he's a baby, still, she cannot understand that how she he grown up. Ah. <laughs> One thing more good is so fortunate, please. <laughs> yeah. We need body to exchange to get this love. Without body, mother cannot exchange this love. That the beauty of mother, she gives the body. Die. <laughs> that is the spiritual body. Mother always gives the body. That the beauty. <laughs> can I add? Can I say something? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Radhe Radhe everyone. Radhe Gopinath. So, Gora just uh, played the ball so nicely to Gurudev because the body and what Tarun also said, the Bhava Deha, without the body of feelings, it's not possible to engage in Anurag with her. We need the Bhava Deha. Now, I just remember this beautiful verse in Prema Bhakti Chandrika where Nautlandas Thakur is saying, Gurudev, Sada Bhava Bhaiveda Yaha Siddha Deha Pavetaha. 
means the sadhana I do in this body, the practice, the bhavi bear means with feelings, with bhav, then I will also attain it in my spiritual form. So it means the sadhana in the sadhak they already has to start with feelings. We already have to practice with feelings. Otherwise, we cannot develop the spiritual body. Now, the verse continues saying, Raga Patara Seupaya. This is the path, the practice of Raga Bhakti. It's about feelings. So I will just remember this verse, which kind of really, I think, substantiates what we were hearing today, that the practice of the sadhaka and Raga Mark has to be filled with bhav, with feelings. Then this body can develop, the spiritual deha can develop. Without feelings, is not possible. And Guru Dev says, the mother is the best example because she is full of feelings. Like she can't even stop thinking of her child. 24-7 she is thinking. Even the child is grown up and doesn't want to do, deal with, have a relationship with the mother. Mother still loves the child unconditionally. And still there are instances where even after the child is grown up, still breast milk can come out of the mother because she's so much in, in emotion and feelings. So this is a very beautiful way for us to meditate, how to live more stronger in feelings. Rather, rather. And one thing, Manjiri can only see the mother. She cannot see the conjugal love. So this is the Bhavala Sati. Why Bhavala Sati? Bhavala. My feeling makes your happiness is my happiness. Your where you are happy, that gives feelings to me to have. Yeah. Uh, if, <clears throat> when I when one time I asked Baba about the Siddha Deha, and he said, for in the beginning, you have to just imagine that the Siddha Deha is a very, very beautiful cloth, which is in the in a in a cupboard in an armoire and it is there it is so beautiful and you have to grow into this beautiful that you can wear this body that you, you have to be so similar and suitable for this body so you that can, that you can wear it when you do sadhana you have to develop this beautiful loving feeling so this is your final form i like this example very much that is this uh, we have to do our sadhana to be that form to have this bhav in our heart. Wow. Yeah. When the Gopinath is telling, that has to be in sadhak there. It's not that sadhak they have to do something else, some sin that they have to do something else. Sadak deha bhavive ja, siddha deha paiveta. Means what I will do in my sadak deha, that will be coming in my siddha deha. It's not that I will do something else with my sadak deha and I will get the siddha deha. No. I have to change from here, then I can move there. 24 7. 24 7. <laughs> this is my Jugala cat that teaching me 24 7. That is Sadak Deha and then going to Siddhartha. No other business. <laughs> like my eyes when they see by reading this water games, Rata and Swamini are doing in Radhakund. When my eyes starting 
to see with the eyes of a manjari and not with the Krishna eyes as lusty desires and whatever. At that moment, when they start with the love to our Swamini and to our service, then, for example, the eyes just has changed into spiritual eyes by imagination what Tarun Baba said and his Baba. First we yeah. imagine, but then it, it comes alive. Pictures become life. Yeah. Wow. You know, when you see And this is only one part of our body, spiritual body, when we get it. When you see from Manjari's eyes, and, uh, Dhyananda Maharaj explain you, and when you see the gopi's eyes, <laughs> Krishna will. Krishna will. And when you see from Manjari's eyes, who win? Swamini wins. Swamini. And now you have to meditate. This is the 24 7. One day ago, he talked this. Why I uh, say first Vilap Kusum Manjali and Radhara Sudhani? Why? Because first you have to fix your sarup like Gora Sundara. He fixed so fixed <laughs> that nobody can shake him on German. <laughs> One day he comes here and I'm talking in some some devotees ask some question for the Krishna I'm talking. He was sitting listening, he went out. <laughs> when he came, I said, Why you go? He said, You're I, I'm not interested in what you're talking about. <laughs> My God! Then I see the nista, his nista. It become big problem for Suniti, my dear. Right, Suniti. <laughs> his nista, firm faith, as high how. My God. You only the Nisi Dominus make your house in the foundation of love for the God. The, wow, all is this. That is <laughs> Nisi Dominus. There. So see, hey, Gora Sundara, see the Manjani's eyes. Who win this water sport? If you understand Manjari's bath, then you understand why Swamini not put water in Krishna's eyes. My God, explain something. <laughs> explain, I want to listen again. From outside, it seems that there is some pastimes awesome. taking place. What do you explain, Gurudev? That the winner. Uh, we'll, we'll get a kiss. And by taking bath in the Ratakunda, they are there is a arrangement. There are some gopis are around friends of Radhika and Krishna, and Manjar is watching the same scene. But all, everybody is looking with different eyes. And so, before they start the game, they preparing with some thin clothes, what Jainanda said at the beginning also, very thin white clothes. 
and then the winner will get a kiss. So then after this game, this pastime, it seemed that Krishna is the winner because he got it. He got the kiss and he win. It looks for the gopis and for Krishna that he win the game. But Manjari and Swamini, they know exactly everything there. They control the situation before they start. There was, <laughs> there was actually there was no chance for Krishna <laughs> before they start to win this game. What is the meaning of winning this game? That Krishna win the game? No. The winner is actually Krishna. But the, 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 the full desire of Radhika and the Manjaris is that Krishna is the winner. Right? They make Krishna happy. And when he is happy, they are the winner. They are happy. And one thing, if the Radhika is the winner, then he, he is in problem. That's a big problem, Gurudev. He has to take kiss. Hmm. And how she can take the kiss to Krishna publicly, we in the front of Sakis and Gopis. Not possible. For her, winner is not good. Loser is good, yeah. If she lose, then she can say, no, 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 no. <laughs> but in fact, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Why are you delaying for this? Do it, do it. <laughs> This is Parakya. <laughs> this is Parakya. Wow. Do it, do it. <laughs> I'm denying to show my friends yeah. that I don't be interested in this business. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you delaying? You win. And they are clapping all Saki. Ah, Krishna win, Krishna win, Krishna win. My three said, no, no. Krishna nowhere. One thing more, if Radhika is throwing the water to Krishna, all the friends, gopis and sakis, all throwing because she is a friend. She has to support Radhika. But she not throw the water. And how? Friends throw. And why not she throw? Because he will lose his energy with the water pressure. And she is always a loser to me. And today I want to make winner to him. And my manjari's desire also has to fulfill. She bring very thin sari to them. Mm. And when we will take bath, it will be very transparent. So if I will throw water on his eyes, how the Krishna will see me? She has to fulfill this desire also publicly and enjoy it. But what I can do? I not throw the water, that ice is nice and he <laughs> can see. And he will throw to me water and all the, my friend will support him. And I want to lose it. I don't want to win publicly. I want to glorify him. But Mandir say she here also win. 
Mm. Here also see when and she satisfied me by wearing thin clothes that he can see me from the eyes all the time. So she not throw the water. She fulfilled my desire also because I bring the thin clothes that she will wear today. And he will she will make happy to Krishna. Some more thing Gurudev is there. I say <laughs> when Krishna see her beautiful form indirectly covered with the thin clothes, he will not lose this image the whole day. And this is a present. With this, Swamini say, this will you get in night time. This is the present just waiting for you. And he will, the whole day, he will think on that. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> when can I meet my Swami? Swamini. You are talking with Rati Manjari and Guru Manjari. I'm looking you, man. <laughs> You are so what you are living in Germany. What do you know, my dear? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is not happening in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is some Zoom happen. <laughs> Magic Zoom. Magic Zoom is happening. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I am so proud, Jananda Maharaj. All oh, Rasikas, you are collecting together. I am so proud of you. Now, Jananda Maharaj is coming to meet with him from South America. Devotees are coming. Yeah, they are sitting here, showing. Yeah, you see this? We are yeah. also waiting. I am also waiting. <laughs> you see? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. And they are also coming from Narayan Maharaj. And you are also coming from Narayan Maharaj. All their brothers, old brother also. Yes. <laughs>